Hey, Blue Marinos, we're getting ready to make our latest kit. Are you ready? Oh, get in here. Let's make it together. This is our newest kit, and we're gonna make this big, oversized door hanger. I think you're gonna love it. It has a neat little jute hanger, and that'll work fine. It's strong enough to be our hanger. But we wanna build our floral design just right on top of this. So, in order to keep our weight e easily and evenly distributed, I'm gonna go kind of right in the center, a little bit below the stripe, and we're gonna make this the center of our design. Just like I teach in design school where you have to um, set your transition point, we're gonna do that right here, right now. And we're gonna use a small block of floral foam. This is not gonna come in your kit or glue or wire cutters, that kind of stuff you're gonna have to grab, but I just cut a little block and it's probably a four by two, three and a half by two little block, and it's gonna sit right here. And it's gonna go just left to right, because that's exactly how we're gonna put our um, pieces in here. So I've got my electric skillet, it's right here off camera, and it's, I don't really love it on camera, I'm gonna have it off to the side, but it's just gonna be right here, and I'm using it to, to put glue on everything, okay? So here we go, let me get him over there. All right, so I'm going to hit this one in the glue and kind of scrape it off a little. And it's going to give me a nice coating. And that way I can have that go right here on my base where we talked about a little bit lower than the actual uh, star right there. So the neat thing is because it is um, going to be all covered, we're going to have a bow and everything, you don't have to panic too much about uh, where everything's gonna go when we start to put it in. I'm gonna show you how to make it really easy. So our foam is in. Now we're ready to start putting some of our flowers. So grab some wire cutters. And I'm gonna start with our greenery first. And we're gonna use, this is called a fishtail fern. And I like using it because it can be, um, it can be used to create a great perimeter on your design. I use it a lot. It's exclusive to our shop. And you're gonna get it in this kit. Now I'm gonna push those up a little and we're gonna trim it all down to where we can get started on here, building up this design. And I took it all off and now let's start to space it out and get it on there. I'm gonna start off with a couple of longer pieces. And this type of design, because it has this center base of a transition point, you can just go back and forth when you put your greenery in because you know you want some going up and some going down. It's that really that easy. Now let's get up a couple of shorter pieces. Kind of put these more in the middle. Okay, right there. And let me grab another shorter one on this side. And you see really quickly get this great base starting out, which just looks so pretty. And I'm going to push these up just a little bit. If you need them shorter or you want them longer, you can push them up or push them down. And we're just gonna do what we did on the right. We're doing it on the left. It's that easy. Okay. So we've kind of got a fanned out look going. Now, I wanna add uh, some of our hanging greenery in the, the parts that are gonna hang down, but I wanna layer that in in a second. So hold that off to the side and let's grab a little bit of our color. And that's coming in a couple of different ways. We have a little bit of this one that has the white to pull in the white from the background with the twigs. So this also comes in your kit and I'm just going to pull this off the stem. And I love that it has a little twig because then that gives us some more fun dimension. So you don't even have to cut that one yet. Just tear them off. Now I want you to really use these twigs. They make things so fun. I'm a really twig, uh, just I was going to say freak, but basically yeah, nut. I, I love that dimension that artificial twigs bring. I love real twigs. I love anything that has that really natural uh, vibe, but it's kind of a little bit of chaos. I think I like a little chaos. I, a little bit of structure and then a little chaos. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, right? Isn't it daily life? <laughs> I think it is. So I'm gonna layer that on the next layer and you see how that's already popping that white out? Yeah. This isn't white out where we're getting rid of stuff. We want the white out to come through, pop the white out. Let me pull these forward and I'm gonna curl this one also. Look how pretty. I know it's so simple and kind of silly, but having the twigs makes everything just pop. 
Now I'm gonna put one right now and it's gonna kinda come a little bit upward. You gotta have glue on and everything, guys. When you're going into the foam, it has to have glue because the glue is what's gonna hold it for the long haul. Um, the foam won't keep it in there. Now I'm gonna take my last piece. I've done the same thing. I'm gonna curl these all up. Now I've taken and I kind of curled some of those up, got them looking good. And this is gonna come down from the bottom. So I've got those going to the top and that's rocking at the bottom. You can see how pretty that is. It's kind of filling in between the greenery. So wherever the greenery would had a little hole, now you're going in between it. Now I want you to grab this dramatic greenery that's gonna be so pretty. And cause this is drapey, gravity's gonna pull it straight down. So we left this zone kind of open for it. So what I want you to do is cut off this one piece right here that can stand up and we'll keep that out. And then I'm gonna cut these other two pieces and we're gonna create this beautiful drama that's gonna kind of work down out of the middle. It's just beautiful. Look at it, look at it just hang down. Kind of hard to see right now to appreciate how far it's going, but wait till you see it all finished on the finished pictures. You can really appreciate it. So I'm going to cut this a little shorter and we'll hold those pieces that can go up or out. And then I'm going to dip this in my glue. Okay. And bring this right in here to the top. And what I kind of wanted to do is kind of spill over, like come around and spill over. Perfect. And my second one, I want to do the same thing here come around and spill over. So I'm gonna cut it right here to where I still have a firm uh, stem. And then I'm gonna put a little glue and we're gonna pop that right in the middle. This is gonna be so cute for just that touch of patriotic. You can use it as your main wreath. It's, it's not little, it's a nice size, but it's just also a piece that could go in other places because it's not overly large. Now we've got the blue panel right here in the back, right? So we want to bring that blue color everywhere else in this design. And this particular one, we're just going to cut it into three pieces here. It's very easy to trim into several pieces and I'm going to keep it on the main stem. So then you don't have to worry. It's just easy, easy to work with if you do that. And this is going to pop out this blue and we're going to start putting it in. I'm not going to curl these yet. We'll see where everybody ends up. But remember, we've got the, the blue already right here. So we don't need a bunch of the blueberries there. We want them to work through the rest of our design because we've already got blue here. Here's a single one. So I'm gonna kind of put it uh, coming up this way. And I'm kind of just making my wreath right on top of the, the flag. And now take these two and kind of come down. And you got great spacing. And we're going to use a bow we made. This bow was made on a, another video. If you need the link to that, let us know. It'll also be in the supply list for this kit. It is a, just a very nice neutral blow, bow, so it picks up these pretty tones that are going on in the background here. To put it in, I'm going to need a floral pin. Here's my little vintage box I keep them in but it's literally like this. It's a U-shaped metal pen, and those work great in order to help go into foam. So we have our cable tie like we would a normal bow that we could tie on a wreath, but in this case, we're gonna tie it on this floral pin. So I'm just gonna pull it really tight, and that pin's gonna go on the back. Now I'm gonna trim off this part right here where it was holding the uh, pin on, and I also need to trim down this pin a little. It's a little long for this particular project. So, and just make sure you get those little guys in the trash so they don't end up in your feetsies. And now I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of this and we'll glue it right into our design. And that's gonna finish off our center really nicely. Hey, and then remember, it's a lot of fun to not put that straight, put it catty corner because now I can work these tails in around that really pretty greenery. And once that bows in and we made super long tails around on this one, once that is in, now I'm going to come in with my little pieces of greenery that are left. You should have about four or five. 
And it's really important to do this. So now with all these little pieces, we're gonna come right in and go in between the bow. And I wanna push these in so they come right out of the center of the bow. These are the little pieces left from the dangling uh, greenery that we put in. Just work them in around because they look stunning when they work through the different layers. And you've taken this kit and made a stunning door hanger that is designer quality, guys. This is not like a little cheapy thing. It is classy and elegant, and I think you'll love it. And you can make this for yourself or give it as a gift or practice your floral design skills. And you can also sell it after you have, you are completely allowed to do that with any of our kits, but it's a great starting point for you to, to learn a lot of the steps of making a beautiful wreath just like this. And this one's a little different because it's not on a normal wreath base. It is actually made directly on our flag and it is beautiful. I think it's gonna look great on your door. And because it's on a wood base, you could also take and prop it up on an easel just like this. Let me show you, look at that. Look at that. She is beautiful and she's ready to hang right now. Like she's got her hanger and you can go hang her up immediately. You guys go have fun with flowers. Bye everybody.